Okay. I uh, just want to talk to you a little bit about why we do some of the things we do and the way we do them. Uh, you know, a while back I, I made a statement and um, people quoted me, uh, the only position in all of sport where the sole purpose of the player in that position is to protect another player is the offensive line. And, uh, you know, that's pretty much true. Uh, you know, the offensive line is, is assigned to protect the runner or the quarterback, just the way it is. Uh, there's no other sport where that's your sole purpose. And, uh, you know, with that in mind, I want to try and explain how some of our, some of our uh, techniques have developed. And, and one in particular is, is torque or cir circular force. And again, I just want to reiterate, when you're hitting a guy in the chest at 90 degrees, he's bent, bent, o bent over. You're using him like a lever. That's a the lever creates torque. His feet are the fulcrum. We know that. Okay, when you hit him from the side or you throw him from the side, it's the same thing. You're creating, you're using your seesaw, okay, and creating a force and applying it to him at an angle and trying to get him moving in that direction, either by carrying him, dragging him like a drunk, or you can you can add a punch, okay? And the, the, the way that we do it is what I want to talk about, okay? Uh, you watch martial arts guys or, or pitchers or quarterbacks or whatever, and they, they step in and they really talk about hip rotation. And again, rotation, rotational force, what we like about it is it keeps you condensed. You don't need to extend your legs to make force like you do when you're going straight ahead or like a defensive tackle locks out and, and def you know, he extends his hips and his, his legs. Circular force allows us to maintain that condensed position and still generate force. And what we're talking about, if you can imagine, let's say I'm a tank and this is my tank treads, you know, and this is my turret. This is where the gun is, okay? I don't have to turn the tank to shoot the gun. This is this goes all the way back to translation, okay? I can keep an open leg in that direction and turn the turret and add force in that direction, or I can add force in that direction or force in that direction, okay? So that's an important thing because we're trying to protect another player. And, you know, when you're boxing, you can circle a guy, you know, circle him. You're, you know, doing that martial arts stuff. You can circle a guy. If you circle a guy in football, as in the offensive line, he's got a straight shot at the quarterback. He can't do it, okay? You can throw him away from the quarterback, okay? And you can use circular force, but you can't move your feet. So what we tried to do is develop a way of generating force that didn't involve hip rotation, okay? And what we, what we settled on was uh, synchronized diagonal antagonists, okay, using the front of the body and the back of the other side of the body. So I'm, take, I'm pushing with this side and pulling with this side, and I'm driving my arm and shoulder back, and I'm creating a linear force by straightening my arm, okay? and using the seesaw, just like a, a piston goes up and down while the crankshaft is going around like this, okay? The piston pushes the crankshaft and it spins, then the crankshaft pushes the piston back up. That's what we're doing, boom. And we're not, we don't have to use this. We don't have to negotiate a uh, position. We can get into a position to protect the back and then still generate that circular force, either a a short arm hook or a long arm punch, okay? And that's basically why we did it. So I can I can stay in my gallop, okay? And I can turn the turret, okay? And add force. Or I can just stay condensed and really don't have to really have my feet in any particular position and generate a circular force just with my trunk and synchronizing my diagonal antagonists. Don't get, don't go to all that science stuff on me now. I'm not a scientist, okay? But that's 
the technical term, so learn it. It's not going to hurt you. It's not going to make your brain hurt. Okay? What I'm doing is I'm pulling this shoulder as I'm pushing. I'm pulling this shoulder back as I'm pushing this shoulder forward. We've gone over this already. We, we've already done this. Okay, I'm doing the same thing here. Here I'm making a, uh, I'm, I am uh, co-contracting my arm, making a hook, and I'm uh, uh, uppercut. Uh, okay, I can go down and up. Okay, down with the shoulder and up and get a good, a good punch. When I'm doing this, again, my brace is behind me and I'm, I'm using both arms, but I can, uh, okay, and get, get a bit of a punch there too. But remember, punching, let's say I'm punching a heavy bag. Okay, I got a heavy bag, maybe weighs 100 pounds. And I do this to it. Uh, okay, fine. Okay, I'll hit it. It's a guy, he's standing straight up. Uh, okay, I hit him, I give him 100 pounds. Maybe I'll give him more than 100. Let's say he's a heavy bag coming at me. It weighs 300 pounds, and it's coming at me at 5 miles an hour. My, uh, my punch is not going to stop it. Uh, not going to stop it. Probably the thing will just mow me, mow me right over. And that's where we have to transfer force back down to our legs. Okay. But what we learned was if we can grab the guy, get him in the armpit and the chest, and do this to him, we can get him moved over so his weight is outside of his base. And we can use gravity to get change, to move him. Okay, so what we're doing is <clears throat> we're doing this. We're not doing this. When we do this, if we get slung, we expose the back. Okay, so that's that's how this stuff, all this stuff developed. We wanted to maintain relationship with the tank and use the turret to do the work. That's what I got for you today. I hope it made some sense, and I'm signing off.